Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Michael here. And for our devotion today, we're going to be looking at First John chapter one, where the apostle is just trying to summarize for us the gospel, and then we'll have a verse of focus as to him being the light. Let's read from 1 John, verse 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and we do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sins. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get to that verse of focus then that Spurgeon is using. And he uses a section of verse 7. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, and so he expounds, as he is in the light, can we ever attain to this? Shall we ever be able to walk as clearly in the light as he is whom we call our Father, of whom it is written, God is light, and in him is no darkness at all? Certainly, this is the model which is set before us. For the Savior himself said, Be ye perfect, even as your Father who is in heaven is perfect. And although we may feel that we can never revival the, rival the perfection of God, yet we are to seek after it, and never to be satisfied until we attain to it. The youthful artist, as he grasps his early pencil, can hardly hope to equal Raphael or Michelangelo. But still, if we did not have a noble boy ideal before his mind, he would only attain to something very mean and ordinary. But what is meant by the expression that a Christian is to walk in light as God in the light? We conceive it to be import likeness, but not degree. We are truly in the light. We are as heartily in the light. We are sincerely in the light, as honestly in the light, though we cannot be there in the same measure. I cannot dwell in the sun. It is too bright a place for my residence. But I can walk in the light of the sun. And so, though I cannot attain to that perfection of purity and truth which belongs to the Lord of hosts by nature as the infinitely good, yet I can set the Lord always before me and strive by the help of the indwelling spirit after conformity to his image. That famous old commentator, John Trapp, said, We may be in the light as God is in the light for quality, but not for equality. We are to have the same light, and are as truly to have it and walk in it as God does. Though, as for equality with God in his holiness and purity, that must be left until we cross the Jordan and enter into the perfection of the Most High. 
Mark that the blessing of sacred fellowship and perfect cleansing are bound up with walking in the light. Wow, wow, wow. Walking in the light. Yes. Wonderful revelation indeed to confront us again. So many times you are among brethren and because ones are not walking in the light, you can hardly have any great fellowship. It's like everybody has a big secret. <laughs> oh my goodness, God so good, so real, so true. Oh, ever living, ever sure. Well, I trust you enjoyed the reading of the word today. He is the light. And may we aspire to walk in the light, be the light, reflect the light. This is Michael here then. Until next time, declare Jesus is Lord. I pray that you have a blessed day.